Hey, it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And behind me here at Google I.O. 2015, I am looking at ATAP. Now, ATAP is a wing of Google's developmental strategy that creates certain projects, like Project Tango, uh, that I showed you last year, where you had a tablet where you could actually see, using all of the sensors, uh, a depth sensor as well, you could actually map out the entire area of a place. You could see that video from last year, and they have the same exact kind of demo here, with just a couple of more use case scenarios. But this particular video, I wanted to show you Project Jacquard, which is another example of what Google is trying to do to move forward in the world of tech, uh, to not only bring tech uh, to everybody, but also to evolve it so that it is accessible for everybody. We saw that with VR already, and now we're seeing that with a melding of tech and fashion. Yes, behind me, as you're going to be seeing in a number of clips right now, we have little chips sewn into actual fabrics that should become uh, ostensibly tech clothing. Now, clothing and, fa uh, clothing and fashion and tech have always been sort of melded together. We have a lot of clothes out there that already read, let's say, biometrics and whatnot. But there's a different take on that particular premise right here, and it involves input. Now, you can already see in this fabric already that there is very visibly a, a little chip that's there, but it's also woven into the actual fabric itself that has to be uh, stitched or woven together in a very particular kind of pattern, and that is the surface on which it will take all the input. There were a lot of examples here, and as they showed at the ATAP talk this morning, uh, they wanted to show a bunch of different use case scenarios, not only using input for being able to change, let's say, the music on your phone, uh, but also uh, there was a display here that show just how the algorithm shows your touches on the screen, and you can see that right now. Uh, the Android angle on this, of course, is the fact that you would be able to use this input in order to control your Android device, and Google Play Music was the example that they had, of course, on here. Uh, but there were other uses on it as well, and if you put, bring in the IoT example, uh, there were actually some bulbs that were hanging from above the example, and by pressing and swiping a certain number of ways on that little piece of fabric that's woven in a certain uh, fashion, uh, then you would be able to change the color, dim the lights, or even turn them off. Uh, so really the idea here is melding together a piece of technology into a piece of clothing so that it doesn't really take away from the look of the clothing. The clothing will just uh, remain the way that it is. But aside from just having sensors for various types of uh, purposes, like let's say knowing how many drinks you drank one day is an example that I heard earlier, or knowing just how far you went if you want to look at biometrics, uh, this could be another way of using, let's say, fashion in uh, fashion, sorry, fitness inside of fashion, uh, using a little bit of tech rather than having to wear something like this uh, polar uh, monitor that I have right here. You could probably have it already woven into your clothing, and it would not only be able to take your biometrics, but it would take some input as well. So kind of eliminating certain pieces of uh, accessories or fashion by making the fashion we wear every day and the fashion we need to wear every day accessible in the tech world. Uh, so this was just a really nice example of Project Jacquard. I just want to bring you a quick look at it. Um, they already had the ATAP talk this morning, but they had examples right here at the ATAP area, so I wanted to make sure to show you how cool it is um, in, in, in an actual video. Uh, nonetheless, uh, ATAP is really working on some pretty awesome stuff. Project Jakarta is just one of them. Project Tango is way back there. Uh, and uh, we'll see probably a little bit more from them, and hopefully this kind of stuff will be available soon. They already announced that one of the partners that they're working with, among many others, was Levi's. So imagine having some jeans that already have some input on there so you don't even have to take your phone out. You can just pause your music by tapping a small part on your jeans. That'd be pretty awesome. But in any case, keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more. This is Joshua Vergara reporting to you live from Google. IO 2015 here at the Moscone Center in San Francisco.